The Miami Dolphins just drafted edge rusher Chop Robinson from Penn State, and I'm here to give you my thoughts. I'm Connor from the Dolphins Dive. Now, I was gut-wrenched when Troy Fontenew got taken right before the Miami Dolphins. That's really who I was hoping would fall to us and could be our bookend left tackle for a long time, but he got taken right ahead of us, and the Dolphins like Chop Robinson, which not the largest fan of. I understand the move. I like to have an arsenal of edge rushers, which the Dolphins just did, especially with Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb coming back from the injury. But I was just hoping to bolster the offensive line, maybe trade back, acquire more picks. But the Dolphins go with Chop Robinson, and I'm going to break down him as a player. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of it just because I was hoping they would go elsewhere. They can still go elsewhere later in the draft, but Chop Robinson's basically, my friend put it in a good way, he's a project. He's a very athletic edge rusher who has a lot of talent but he needs to put it all together uh even just going off his sacks he had four sacks this past season in college his most in one year is five and a half so the production wasn't there uh the technique from time to time is shoddy but he does have tremendous upside with his very good athleticism and that's where it comes into play for the miami dolphins he's entering a good situation with having jalen phillips bradley chubb and shaquille barrett all ahead of him so he can sit back and learn and be a fourth pass rusher for the Dolphins. He might have to step in early as Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips come back from injury, but then he can kind of slide back into a secondary rotational role where he can really sit back, develop, and learn. So overall in that aspect, I'm a big fan of it, especially uh, Bradley Chubb coming off another ACL injury with a big cap numbers coming in the future. It's very likely he will be cut whether it's after this season or the following. So this allows you to have edge rush productivity in the future to pair up with Jalen Phillips for a long time and doesn't lock you in with needing Bradley Chubb in his big contract if that's how the Dolphins foresee that going. But overall, I don't hate the position. I, I was really hoping if we'd gotten edge, it was Latu. Uh, Chubb, like I said, is more of a project, but in this specific system, you can kind of afford for him to kind of take a red shirt year. Like I said, he's probably going to have to fill in for a little bit. But overall, I'm not the biggest fan of the pick just because I would have preferred to see them go elsewhere. But I don't think it's a wasted pick. I think you're drafting a guy with high upside who you could very well hit on. And he could become a person you pair up with Jalen Phillips for the next 5 to 10 years. Which is very exciting. But like I said, uh, you just don't know with that potential if it's going to hit or not. But hopefully it does. I don't really have much more to say, so comment your thoughts down below on the draft pick, and we'll see what the Dolphins do in round two. Uh, like I said, we hope maybe to trade back and acquire more picks so we had a third round pick, but we obviously don't currently. But that's all I got for you. Comment your thoughts down below. Check out the Dolphins side for the best Dolphins merch out there. And until next time, fins up.